Hi, I'm Jeremy from Airworks Heating and Air Conditioning out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Today I'd like to talk to you about components that are in the inside of your furnace that you can um, take out, clean yourself, and some of them that you can't. Um, these little devices that I've got in my hand here are, are flame sensors. Um, in the inside of the furnace there are just one wire and these stick up in the inside of the flame. Um, what it does is it senses that the flame has made it across every single one of the burners on the inside of the furnace and if it is dirty or it needs to be replaced then this is the guy that you'll be looking for. Um, they come in different shapes, sizes, everything. You may need to call a qualified technician um, to be able to get these parts for you. Um, if you'd like to try to sand them yourself, you can actually take a piece of sandpaper and go over the top of it. It's not recommended by the, the uh, manufacturer of most furnaces to do so, um, but it can give you temporary heat. And also on the inside of your, your furnace, you have an igniter. Um, the igniter is what's going to glow hot and make the furnace start on a lot of these newer uh, furnaces. The old furnaces have a standing pilot on it and it'll always have a flame that's present there. Um, you will have to recognize whether or not that's a uh, nitrate igniter or a standing pli pilot system. If you have a nitrate igniter and it does need to be replaced, you may have to call a, a supply house or a, a qualified technician to be able to actually get that, that part for you. Once again, I'm Jeremy with Airworks Heating and Air Conditioning. We've talked about flame sensors.